Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Let's get into it. I'm going to put my footage down into the timeline. I got to split it at three places. First place I got to split it at is where there is nothing on the scene because I need that at the beginning. So I'll go to find another position where there's nothing on the screen and split it there. And delete that. Next thing I need to do is find a position where my talent is about to touch the ground from jumping up in the air. So I'll go find that. And I split the clip here. Right click on it. Open effects toolbox. And I need to grab this frame and save it to disk somewhere because I need to create a PNG image out of this. I'm not going to go over that part because I told you guys how to do that already. So once you grab this frame, you need to create a PNG image so it's just this individual in it. Then I can delete this middle piece. And now you see it looks like he's just appearing out of nowhere and landing. But now we got to make him fly. So I'm going to move this forward to a position where how long I want the flying sequence to be. You don't need it to be any more than like two seconds. So I'm going to split it there and I'm going to cut out this middle piece. I'm going to go to my photos and I'm going to grab the individual flying. I'm going to scale it down to the same as the part where there's nothing in it. I'm going to right click on this. Open effects toolbox. And I'm going to add blur. And I'm going to add to the editor. And you need to make your subject, gonna hit reset. You need to make your subject actually appear on the screen. So you're gonna need keyframes for this. I'm not gonna go through all the keyframes, but at the first keyframe, you can just click that. You need to make them really small. And as you see, I made it really small there. And what I'm going to do is on the second keyframe, I'm going to create it and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to bring them off the screen. So it looks like it kind of flew up. And then I'm going to click this to go to the last keyframe. And I'm going to leave it all normal on the last keyframe so that he's in the position he needs to be. And that's it. Now you need to do make movie. And create a file of this because you need comps. You're going to need a lot of comps to do this. So you're going to create a file of this. Just click create file and name it something like flying. All right. So once you're done, you can go ahead and you create your movie. You make your comp. You can delete this. Go back to your videos. Click up and then click the folder where you're saving everything. And that video that you just made will show up. I made one called flying comp. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to take... The effects from action essentials and you need to layer them one by one on top of this so each time you make a new comp you're going to add another layer and another layer so you can start off with the um in my photos at the ground crack so i'm gonna start off with that and i'm gonna put it to a position at where the individual first comes in from the flying so i know how long it was record that i had it at 1.05 so that's why i'm gonna add a marker here Move this over. Now I need to open effects editor on the graphic of the ground crack from Action Essentials. And you go to Luma key here. Hit OK. I need to invert this key. So now you can see it. I need to add another effect to the editor advanced. So I actually need to bring this over and down. So I need to hit reset. So it's pretty much in good position, so I'm going to change the size here. And I'm going to bring it down into place where my talent is centered in the middle of the ground crack. And you can do all that on your own. I'm not going to do it all right now, but you know what I'm getting at, okay? 
So once you got it centered, you're done with this, you close it out. Once again, you go to make movie and you make a movie of this one and you can call it something like flying with ground crack. If I go back to my video footage, you'll see I have flying with ground crack. So I bring it down. You see on this one, when he appears, the ground crack is there. But the ground crack is also going over my talent, and we're going to fix that later. So now what you need to do is you need to start putting the debris and the dust, or not the dust, the dirt charge and the debris around it. So bring down your dirt charge. Move this over to that same one, whatever number you have. Mine was, remember, 105, where he lands. Add a marker there. The reason why you add the marker is because it makes it stop there. So you don't have to worry about trying to get it exactly on there. Now you right click on this dirt charge, go to open effects toolbox. And you need to go ahead and first of all add the luma key here so you can see it. Okay. Add another effect. I'm going to add the uh, color correction because I want it to be close to, I want it to be like black. Hit reset. And I'm going to change all the black settings to negative 75. And I'm going to add another effect. Which is tint. I'm going to click these markers and I'm going to click on something that's like gray or black. Right, and I'm going to add the last effect, which is the 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to click Reset. And then what I need to do is do the same thing. You see, here's a little start. Now that I've made it black, you can see it. So now what you need to do is... Move it into position as well, using the horizontal and the size. You need to scale it up the size and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to do all that for you. You know how to do that. Get it where you need it to be. I'm going to get out of here. Once again, make movie. And you're going to name it something like uh, Dirt Comp 1 or whatever. And then I'm not going to go through the next part because basically what you're going to do is the exact same thing with all the exact same effects that I just did. But you're going to do that to Bouncing Debris 3 and Bouncing Debris 1. Okay. Once you're done with all that, you'll have the Dirt Charge and you'll have your Bouncing Debris. And you'll have the Flying all on one comp. And... It'll look something like this one here. All right. But now you still see the debris is on top of me, so I need to fix that. So you can use this comp that we just made. And then you're going to take the flying comp that you made at first, and you're going to drag it down. Underneath it, on the timeline. All right. Now, what you need to do with this one is you need to right-click it, open Effects Toolbox, and you're going to need the 2D Editor Advanced again. You're going to click OK and Reset. Now, you're not going to do anything with the size and the position this time. All you're going to do is you're going to use the cropping because all we want is the legs or the lower half of the subject to show. If I play it forward right now, you see that all you see is me flying because I put myself on top of the dirt and everything else. But what I'm going to do is crop the top down. And now you'll actually see when I fly in, oh, you see the stuff all above that position. But now I need the stuff on the side. So you're going to have to crop the left to where you need it.
and the right to where you need it. And the bottom, you're not going to mess with it all. And get it as close to the subject's legs as you can. Now, you're going to need to keyframe this, okay? So from step one, you're going to have to really start off using keyframes on it. And that'll be your first keyframe anyway because we already made it. And that's also going to be your last keyframe. So what you're going to do is you're going to step through. And you're going to keep making sure that you use your key, your cropping to keyframe where the subject legs are showing and you don't want anything to be in front of him except for this part that's in front of the front part of the body because you want it to look like he's inside of it. And we're going to fix that in a minute. So you just crop this out, go all the way through. It's going to be a lot of keyframes you got to make. But when you're done, it's going to look real good. So just make sure you keep the top one where it is. Don't move it. And then just use the left and the right to just make sure that the legs show through. Then when you're done... You got to right click on it again, or you could have just stayed in there and opened a, a new effect. Once you're done cropping it, you're actually going to keep using the 2D. Let's see, editor. So let's cancel this. You're actually going to keep using the 2D editor. Once you finish doing all of that keyframing of the first part, you're going to go back to the beginning and then you're going to leave all your cropping where it is, but you're going to start using transparency. So what you want to do is you want, at the beginning where he lands, all the dirt should be in front of his legs, right? So we're going to use the transparency and bring that all the way down. Oh, well, that makes sense. Since we're on the wrong transparency, it's not going to work, huh? Yeah, didn't think so. All right. Silly, silly me. All right, so I'm going to bring our transparency all the way up. So that just covers him up. And then we're going to step through on the next. Matter of fact, we could just drag it to where we want it now because it's going to make more sense. Once he steps through, oh, he's about to step through. You want to bring your transparency to 50 on that keyframe. So he's halfway in and halfway out. So it actually looks like he's really coming out of the debris and the dust and everything and then once you see that he stepped out at a good position that you like go ahead and bring the transparency back down to zero and now you just see his legs and then once of course you're done with all of your keyframing there you want to close it out and you want to once again make movie and now you'll have the part where he's coming through the smoke and the dirt and debris Last thing you want to do is you want to add your dust wave. So if I go back, take these out. And I have one with, uh, let's see, landing with overlay, debris, and dirt. Bring that down. You see what that kind of looks like, him coming through the debris. And then I want to go ahead and add the dust on top of that. Finish it out. So basically, you're going to add the dust wave on here at the same position. Um, everything, you're going to do all the same effects you did on the other ones. Put it in the same position. One thing you, you don't have to do is the color correction on this one. But you do want to do some transparency to make it kind of, the dust kind of disappear a little early on if you need to. And that's it. A few things I want you to do for me. The thumb, point it up at the bottom, click it, hit it, love it, live it. Hit that thumbs up, all right? I need you to do that for me. Second, leave me your comments. I love them. And I will definitely get back with you if you leave me a comment. Don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.